guys. Um, this is Sonia here, Dr. Zach's wife, and I uh, wanted to share a very personal and somewhat embarrassing story with you today. Now, despite the shame that I feel video ta uh, taping this story, um, I feel that it really hones in on a very important point. So I hope that you um, stick around and watch. So about three years ago, I was flossing in the upper left side of my mouth between tooth number 13 and 14. And I felt a little bit discomfort in that area as the floss was going up and down. So the following day, I went in for, um, had an x-ray taken in that area. And what was discovered was a tiny cavity on the distal part of my of tooth number 13. So I scheduled myself for a filling to be done um, a week from that day. Now between the, the, the day of the x-ray and the appointment to get the filling done, um, I learned that I was pregnant with our third child and that was a very big surprise and lots of events started to happen and I had to cancel my appointment last minute. And then I procrastinated and I procrastinated and then I was too pregnant to have the, the treatment done and then um, my, my daughter was born and literally more life happened and more um, things that I had to take care of and I pretty much prioritized the needs of the family, work, whatever you name it, of, above, everything was above the need of me getting this tiny filling filled. So long story short, three, about five months ago, I'm biting into a piece of chocolate and I thought I was biting into like some nut or something and I took the piece out and it turned out to be half of my tooth. It literally broke off. It broke off below the gum line and when I had the x-ray taken and also um, it was just clear and visible like it was that um, the tooth wasn't savable. It basically rotted from within. Um, I didn't feel the pain, but apparently that's not all, that doesn't always happen where you feel pain. The only option was to extract the tooth and replace it with an implant. And, uh, but what's even worse, the two teeth that surrounded tooth number 13, so tooth number 14, had such a big cavity that it had, that it needed a root canal and a crown. And the tooth in front of it needed a uh, very, very large filling. So, um, that tiny little cavity that would have been a you know half hour dental visit turned into eight dental visits over a five month period. Finally, I'm, I'm back to all good, but there was that time when I had to con manage my schedule around these necessary dental appointments and I had to walk around with a temporary tooth while my implant was being, was, um, being uh, uh, was kind of uh, adjusting to my, so we didn't put the, the crown on immediately. Uh, we waited for three months to make sure that the implant was stable. And during that time, I walked around pretty much without a tooth. I mean, I had a, a stay plate, but I didn't have a permanent tooth. So that wasn't very comfortable, especially for a 37 year old woman. Um, anyway, um, what I wanted to tell all of you is that I, you know, coming from a dental family and finding myself in the situation can seem really crazy. But the reality uh, of life is that for you guys, it's probably even harder to make your oral health a priority um, above all these other urgent things that are happening on a daily basis. So I really hope that um, my story will inspire you to prioritize your, your overall health and your oral health and um, I'll encourage your family members to prioritize their oral health. And remember that even the tiniest of cavities are not tiny problems.